Hey guys, welcome to another Q&A session from the Reaper blog. I'm John, YouTube channel just reached 3,500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, for liking and commenting, and giving me all the feedback on the videos that I've been doing. Before we get started, there's a couple things. One, I need a haircut. Number two, I got new glasses. Thanks for noticing. Number three, I just announced a new product called Mixing in Reaper Volume 1. I'm hoping to get that out at the beginning of October. I'll have all the details coming up. Time to answer some questions. Taylor asks, is there a way to change the pitch of every MIDI note in a session without doing it by hand? So how I'd approach this is to use the Read Control MIDI plugin, put it as the first insert on every MIDI track, and then use the transpose function to change the pitch. Another way you can do it is to go into the arrange view, select all your MIDI items, and then there's keyboard shortcuts to change the pitch. Question two is from Eric. Is there an action for fitting alt tracks to the timeline window? I'm constantly resizing my tracks with control and mouse wheel to make them all fit. I wish there was an action that would just snap them all back into view. And the same for the horizontal, something that will fit the whole project into the timeline window. The closest thing to get all your tracks to fit onto the TCP is to use the uh, toggle track zoom to minimum height. And for horizontal, you want the view zoom out project action. Probably the best way to do it is to combine those two into a custom action, hit one button, and then it shrinks all your tracks and it zooms out your session. With zooming and scrolling and navigating your session, there's a lot of options and a lot of different ways people like to do things. So I'll have to do a, a video just on that. Alpin Music asks, can you make a video for logic rewiring with Reaper as the master and logic as the slave? I usually try to do a tutorial on everything that people ask. Uh, rewire is something I'm not going to do because I just don't have time to learn another program. I don't have any other DAWs. I only have Reaper right now. And probably the only thing I'll say no to, the only other thing I can think of to answer your question uh, is that Logic can't be a uh, slave to Reaper, but Reaper can be a slave to Logic over Rewire. Next question is from Levi. Having trouble reamping in Reaper with a Focusrite 2i2. Could you help? So I do actually have a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 and uh, cue the montage. So basically you have to unplug your speakers, connect the main outs to your reamp box, and then to your amp, then turn the master volume on the interface all the way up. You have to be careful not to make any feedback loops. And if you have a four channel interface, it's way easier because you, you can still listen to your mix while recording and you won't have any problems. Last question comes from Naman. Is there a way we can gradually increase the CC sustain in Reaper? Remember doing this in Cubase by enabling two points and setting an angle. First, you need to check your mouse modifiers, the MIDI CC event, and should be control to make a linear ramp in the events. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep sending in questions. Every 500 subscribers, I'm going to do one of these videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials.